Monologue I've sewn diamonds into the hem of your skirt so that you can buy bread. I've put your teddy in the rucksack and a jar of jam as well, but... Shh! I've rolled your slip under the sheets. You must unpack it quickly. I've stuffed the papers right to the bottom of this bag so that no one, you know... I've stitched a little money into the coat. Perhaps you can... I've grandfather's watch in the vase by the window. They shouldn't stop you. I've put a pen in this envelope and with it a letter to your uncle. Give it to him. I've removed the star from the jacket. It's better that way. I've burned other stars. Now every night is black. It seems I've given all my advice. Now I have none left. I've sewn diamonds into the hem of your skirt, but... And it was a day, and the day was ending. And it was standing, and it was waiting. And it was a multitude, and it looked like an ocean. And it was men, and it was women. And it was children, and it smelled of leather. And it was cases, and it was steam, and it was mouths, and it was the word. And it was blank, and it was numb, and it was large, and it was coats, and it was dogs, and it was whimpering, and it was weeping, and it was a train, and it was carriages, and it was a ramp, and it was hurrying, and it was the shout inside, and it was pushing, and it was hurrying again, and it was rough, and it was the tone, and it was hands, and it was looks, and... It was minutes, and it was cramped, and it was no room, and it was almost night, and it was a joke, for they were like cattle, and it was a bolt, and it was a jolt. And it was moving, and it was no air, and it was night, and it was time, and it was too long, and it was whispers, and it was murmurs, and it was conjectures, and it was questions, and it was heat, and it was too cramped, and it was weeping again, and it was a bucket, and it was four corners, and it was a smell, and it was shame, and it was hours, and it was hours, and it was hours, and it was hours, and it was thirst, and it was chaos, and it was falling, and it was leaning, and it was a tired prayer, and it was murky water from a ladle, and it was a jolt and it was listening, and it was a hope, and it was a language, and it was a country, and it was ours, and it was ours, and it was ours, and it was ours, and it was forebodings, and it was rumors, and it was a fire spreading, and it was snatches, and it was words, and it was surely not true, and it was a jolt, and it was true, and it was a strange name. Oh. Eats. We wouldn't have taken part. We wouldn't have taken part in this thing. We would have held back, would have stayed at home with our women, our children, our houses, our herds. We wouldn't have worn brown or parted our hair or worn that unfortunate mustache. We wouldn't have called Zeke and wished Heil. We wouldn't have screamed loudly. We would have gone swing dancing. But wait, we did swing dance and boogie-woogie, throwing women over our shoulders. We did shimmy and quick step. By night, we were who we hunted through the streets by day. By night, we were the people day saw walk in front of our barrels. By night, we were the people the food markets shut out. We were by night the people we would never have let our daughters near. We wouldn't have taken part in this thing till we saw that the minister and the teacher also somehow took part, and the woman who let us reach into the sweetie jar. We wouldn't have taken part in this thing. I'm telling you, I wouldn't have shoved a toothbrush into anyone's hand and said, scrub the damn platform, all of it. Wouldn't have said, just one suitcase, and you'll get your things back after the disinfection. Would never have said, faster, faster to the lame old men, and never, you left, your sister right would never have spat Herr Jakob in his face. But I wouldn't say that I wouldn't have signed my name, wouldn't have scrawled a cross, a yes, in the wrong box, at the wrong moment. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't have stayed silent once too often rather than open my mouth once too many times. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't have taken part in this thing somehow. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't have taken part.